expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. himself in yet another big spot here tonight. Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shumayev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shumayev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamza in the octagon. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee tonight. Well, the UFC is the leader in combat sports because they put the fights that fans want to see together. To that end, they have locked the door behind Hamza Chihuahua. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. So he's landed a few big uppercuts already in D.C. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of the left hook. Because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Swing and a big miss by Chumai. Stuffs that takedown attempt without a shoot. Nice combination lands to the head. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's, it's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Really 
using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. That strike blocked by Kamsa Chimaev. Chimaev's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Vizia in the clinch lands that punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might get. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Look at the weapon. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Lead kick is true there by Pudain. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now he gets a more dominant position. To he is going to start to drive me over and over. Oh, continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm close to the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot be hard to take your time. He's ripe for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> All right, late in the round here, and there is that patented upright. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. Oh. So he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Nice little shot up there. Good defense to block that punch. Shumayev's eye appears to be closing up by the set. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Pat. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Shimaev's in half goal. Constantly a moving target. All right, feet on the hips here. Alex Pineda getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. First round winding down here. Takedown like that might be the difference. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Chimaev's corner now will take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout. But you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Job at least staying upright on that. Right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, nice underhook. Now the uppercuts are coming. 
coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Takedown defense holds up. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes. In this yeah, both guys have been affected. You heard him again. Effective punch from the clinch there by Hamza Chimaya. And he blocks the shot there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side hook. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground-and-pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, you're starting to land from the top position. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. He's got to be careful here. Ninety seconds to go. I need you to take the back position now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. She Maya's right back to the full mount here. This is where he wants to be. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Chimaya. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Under a minute now to go. And very effective with the ground and pound. He's very close to the finish here. Back to the feet. Big left hand lands upstairs. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell, back to the stool, 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode, Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. End this fight. End this. So he's really starting to put together some huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. But he doesn't get finished. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. The on belly. <laughs> Lands the grounded pound strike here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Hammer, hammer. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Hansa Chimai. That eye starts to close. Very nice leg kick there by Chimaya. with that jab attempt there. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's oh, nice job to land the front kick there by Padeda. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Shimaev's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Just misses with the left hook. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Get the ball here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chimaya. All right, take your time. Take your time. Relax. Breathe. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle. A lot of pressure going down on his opponent. All right, so it has been punches and strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a facial fracture or something. Well, it seems as though something's hurt bad here. The last time I saw somebody get this one, I remember watching Ioana and Jacek's head, looking at the just size blow up. You know that damage is getting done, and every time he hits him on these spots, it hurts worse than anything you could imagine. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. You can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, good job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he early and often and right now this situation is off all oh, submission attempt here he's fighting he wants this badly that darts is tight oh he escapes he got out he, wow that is great submission defense And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the...
the books. All right, man, take a seat. Breathe. Listen, that was awesome. You really hurt him there. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be a... Ready, fight? Ready. Two strap, fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at five seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Pereira! Wow, what else can you say about Alex Pereira? We have called most of his UFC fights, but another knockout tonight. This dude's just devastating. I mean, these moments are now starting to be...